Hello guys, welcome to this lesson. We will learn how to mine using the mining software directly. In order to mine with your computer, you will need a piece of software which is the miner. For CPU, we will be using XMRig, and for GPU, we will be using Phoenix Miner. XMRig is only for CPU, and Phoenix Miner is for GPU, and it will work with AMD cards and Nvidia cards. The first step that we are going to take is to download the mining software. In the case of XMRig, it can be downloaded from the project's GitHub page, XMRig Releases. Phoenix Miner can be downloaded from this link, and it will be in the description of this video or attached in a document with other useful links. So when downloading XMRig, just try to download the latest version, and if you are in Windows, it's important that we pay attention to the name of the file and we download the msvc file. Once we extract the XMRig files, we will get a folder which looks similar to this. Things to pay attention. If your antivirus is deleting the file, you won't see the xmbrick.exe file in here. This will lead to some errors preventing you from running the software, because Windows cannot find the command xmbrick.exe. So double check and pay attention that you have the proper whitelist and the antiviruses turned off. Your firewall or your router will probably block your connections to the mining pool, so also please bear this in mind and, and double check. The next step is to locate the pool mine example file and we are going to right click and edit. We are going to place inside the details that XMRig needs in order to make the connection to the mining pool. That is the pool URL which is closer to your location and your wallet address with the proper syntax. So in this case I'm passing the pool URL and then the syntax of the wallet is as follows. The coin that you are mining, then your wallet address, then you will put a dot, you will name your worker and then you, you will put a hash and the code that will allow you to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75%. After we have this completed, we are going to locate the config.json file. We are going to open with Notepad or any code editor. And we are going to pay attention to the pools object and we are going to place the same details as we placed in the pool mine example. Then we are going to pay attention to the object CPU and we are going to make sure that huge pages is set to true. Also, yield must be set to false. Okay, so in order for you to get these details, you are going to go to onminable.com, you are going to select your coin, then you are going to select RandomX because this is the algorithm that our XMRig uses to mine with your CPU, and you will find the details down below for your location and also to re remind you about the, um, the syntax for your wallet, which is the coin, your address, your worker name, and don't forget the hashtag with the code to drop the, the fee. So once we have completed all of these um, edits in the files and we have saved the files, we can restart the computer and then we can run, we can right click and run as an administrator the pool mine example file. This will launch XMRig. As soon as XMRig uh, launches, we need to pay attention to a few details. So what are the most common errors in XMRig? If we connect to the wrong pool and we have huge pages not available, it is probably because we need to double check the config.json file as mentioned before and we need to restart the computer. And other things that might prevent you from connecting to the pool might be antiviruses and firewalls. By pressing the letter H in XMRig, you can get a detail of your CPU cores and threads and the total speed or hash rate. This can then be used in onminable.com to check how many coins we can produce in a day or a month. In my case, I have 1,500 and if I go to onminable.com under my coin and random X, I can then go to the calculator, place the number 
and I will know the number of coins I will be getting in a day or month. It's important to know that by running XMRIC directly, you will get higher hash rates and a better performance. And the rest of optimizations will be explained in another video. Let's now check for all of you who want to mine with a GPU, uh, how it can be done with Phoenix Miner. With Phoenix Miner, we will do something very similar to what we have done with XMRIG. We are going to locate a file, we are going to edit the file, and we are going to put inside all the details that we need to pass to phoenixminer.exe so that it can run and connect to the pool and start mining for us. This is very simple because all that we have to do is to place the URL to connect to the pool and then the um, wallet okay, with the proper syntax. We need to pay attention to two things here. One thing is, if we are mining with a 4 GB card, then we have to select as the coin ETC and as the uh, pool ETC hash. And these details will come from Onminable under the ETC hash um, tab. On the contrary, if we are mining with an 8 GB card, we want to be able to connect to the pool ET hash and the coin will have to be ETH and these details can be found under the ETH uh, tab. Once we have our file uh, looking like this and um, one of the things to, to note as well is that we can place the full path to the file to avoid windows from not recognizing where this command is located and then showing some, some errors. So once you have this, you save it and you can run it as administrator. So now, if everything goes well, you will be mining with your CPU and your GPU at the same time. So let's move into the next video and see you there.